Hello, Box users. I'm Alex, a developer advocate here at Box. Today, I'm going to help you set up the Box CLI using OAuth 2.0 authentication. The CLI is a command line interface tool that helps technical and non-technical users make API calls, as well as script more complex use cases like folder provisioning. The setup process is quick, so let's go. All righty, let's get started. First, we're going to go to our developer documentation site. You can find the site at developer.box.com. I'll also have it linked in the description box below. Click on Quick Starts in the top left of the navigation bar. Scroll down to find the card that says Learn to use the Box CLI with OAuth 2.0. Scroll down on this page until you find the button that says, I am ready to get started and click it. Click create a new box app, followed by create an app. Log in. This screen will grant access for the quick start to make an application on your behalf. Click grant access to box. This screen shows the scopes of the application that will be created, as well as gives you the option to name the application. You can leave the default if you wish. It is important to note that while the app will have scopes like manage users, your user will also need to have the same administrative privileges in order to use the user's endpoints. Click Create App. A client ID and secret will appear in the box below. Scroll down and click, I have configured a box app. Now we need to install the CLI on your local machine. The quickest way to do this is by clicking download the latest CLI installer button. Click the button and it will take you to the CLI GitHub repository. If you scroll down, find the asset that matches your operating system. I already have the CLI installed, but if you click the asset, it will download, and all you have to do is follow the prompts to complete installation. Go back to the Quick Start Guide and open a terminal or command prompt. To confirm that the CLI was installed, type box and hit enter. You'll now see a list of commands that represent each category of API endpoints that the CLI can utilize. In order to use the CLI, once it's been installed, you have to create an environment. If you scroll down on the Quick Start page, you'll find the client ID and client secret of the application we created just a minute ago. Back in the command prompt, type box space, login space dash in, then a name you would like to name the environment. I'll use OAuth Alex and hit enter. It will now ask for the client ID of the application. You can copy paste this from the quick start guide. It will then ask for the client secret. We'll copy paste that over and hit enter. It will then pop up a login screen that will then allow the CLI to be authorized to make API calls. Click authorize and then grant access to box. The CLI is now set up. Congratulations. In order to make the first API call, we'll use a simple get users call. So we'll type box space users colon get space me. You can see that it returned our particular user account. You can close the browser window that was popped up from the CLI as well as the GitHub repository that popped up. If you scroll down, in the quick start guide, we'll go to the next screen. Say, I have configured and installed the CLI. When we logged into Box, we added some credentials to our browser cache. Clear those by clicking Clear Credentials. And that's it for setting up the Box CLI with OAuth 2.0 authentication. In the next video, I'll help you create a folder using the built in help functionality. Until next time, if you love the Box Content Cloud and want to see more videos using Box Platform, like this video and click subscribe. 
You can also follow us at Box Platform. See you soon.